Hey mom, look what I found. Hey, what's going on everybody? I thought I'd take a chance to do a record, uh, little bit of recording for a minute. We're at Phantom Fireworks. I just got done. Got some fireworks, so. Um, all right, let's get going. Uh, we've been doing some metal detecting today. I did find a ring. Wish I'd have got a live dig, but I kinda got thrown off a little bit. We had the police show up. Uh, there was a meth house on the corner. We just did a, a part of the lawn. And I uh, wish I'd have got that on camera when the cops showed up. And it was just when I was finding this, uh, getting this signal for this ring. So uh, I just dug it and let them walk over where we were at and, and uh, check our IDs and stuff. Because we were doing a, uh, just doing a little detecting in the front yard of this, this house that was condemned. I guess it was a meth house. So whatever. Um, they just told us to stay off the property. The, the usual bull crap. So now we're heading over to uh, Congress now that we got some fireworks and uh, see if we can't find something over there to, to get into. I've never been to Congress. Um, it's a little town. Uh, sorry for some of the last videos and the name change again. Uh, it's my third name change back. I had a few people tell me they liked the uh, Hey Mom, look what I found a little better. So I went back to that. And then uh, for whatever reason on the last video I made with the walkthrough on the abandoned house, the sound got a little messed up uh, and out of coordination with the video uh, most of you guys I think can piece it together though because since I do this on my phone everything looked good when I went to save it so I deleted all the video clips separately separate video clips out of my phone so I cannot re do that video and re upload it so it's right it is just gonna have to be what it is and you guys are gonna have to suffer so uh, all right, well, I'll talk to you when we get to uh, uh, wherever, hopefully we can find a spot to dig. And hey, look at that, there's an abandoned house right there. Um, so he probably missed it driving by too fast. And sorry my truck is so loud. Someone told me that too, your truck's really loud. So, um, all right. Catfish. All right, <clears throat> we're at the Lodi Park. We're gonna give it a shot here and see what happens. I got Peyton with me today. No kids, so this ought to go a little smoother. Be able to get a little more accomplished today so uh sun's gonna get us today only got maybe two hours left of sunlight so let's get out here and see if we can't find something <sighs> hey we're out uh still at the slow park and uh, this is where they have the uh corn festival in lodi this whole field is in filled here i think by the end of this month uh what are we still in june july yeah we're in july end of july uh, this will be filled with food vendors, and they they do all kinds of events and stuff. And nice, nice sunrise going down there. Um, we've been popping clad coins like crazy out of out of this area. So I don't think it's been a metal detected. I just found a 1979 Canadian, um, some pennies, and pennies. Peyton's found some pennies and some dimes and stuff, but all all clad. There he goes, acting like a goop ball. <laughs> Get in there. So. Um, we'll walk over here and see what what Peyton's got. I ain't, ain't done much for dig. I'd like to got that ring on there for you guys, but all right. Well, while he's digging, I'll show you guys this ring. It just popped out just up the road. Just tungsten, I think. But that's when the cops just walked up on us for metal detecting the edge of the road in front of that condemned crack house but her meth house so well yeah it's pretty cool so what big oh nope. ah the old infamous pull pop tab <laughs> all right if we find anything else guys we'll get All right, guys, uh, we're back out here still in Lodi Park. Peyton's been uh, picking up a lot of clad. We had a uh, nice gentleman stop by. He's been talking to us and letting us know a lot about the park and the festival and the town and giving us some other um, places to hit Metal Tech over the next couple weeks. His name's Brandon. I'd like to thank Brandon. So it's always great to find these guys. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> 
So it was real nice of them to stop by, give us some information. We've been picking up a lot of clad out of this park. So uh, it's a lot better than finding pop cans, and we've been having a good time at least finding something. So thanks for joining us today. All right, guys, a little wrap-up. End of the day for me and Peyton. Uh, between uh, hitting Burbank just for a minute and then coming down here to Lodi Park, which we intend on coming back because all the clads you see, there's Peyton's. There's mine. Uh, we we're finding lots of it, and this this festival is at the end of this month. So, as soon as that festival's over, we're coming right back and trying to grab everything right off the top without having to dig it. So, maybe we'll make uh, five or ten bucks a piece after this festival's over. And uh, but a couple quarters, nothing, nothing old, no silver. Um, really don't know much about the. Uh, it's a little. Right, but that's a Canadian coin. It came out real shiny, but it's a 79, so I'm not a real coin person. So if anybody could tell me what Canada made their coins out of to keep them so shiny, even though I know that's not silver, not at, not at 79, um, I'd appreciate it. Other than that, thanks for joining us today. <laughs>